I've been getting comments left and right, and now it's finally time that we came to a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? It's time for the most anticipated event of the year. Colossus vs. Ogmer! In the left corner, we have the Tier 6 Wine Cellar Top Colossus Shield, granting the wearer 12 death, 2 vit, and 2 whiz, allowing the knight to become even more tankier than before. But what this shield is known for is not its stats, but its overpowered ability known as the stun. With a range of 3.2 and a mana cost of 100, your shield launches out 5 shots, each dealing a damage range of 300 to 360, an average total of 1650. If these shots come in contact with any enemies at all, they will be stunned for 3 seconds, unable to attack. And it's at this moment that an opportunity arises. That opportunity is the chain stun. A chain stun is the process of repeatedly stunning a target by use of MP potions, wisdom, or your MP heal from your pet, in order to keep your enemy permanently stunned, unable to attack, and allowing all your friends around you to get your damage in and kill your enemy within seconds. Usually when you're attempting to chain stun, it's done on bosses that are dangerous, ones that you don't want to attack you. Examples would be O2, or X the Mad God 2, or the infamous tomb bosses. Say you're doing a guild tomb and you have an archer who paralyzes Beth. Now all the knights are going to go in, stun, keep best stunned, unable to attack, and protecting everyone. Ironically enough, this process is also used with Nogmer, known as Instabreaking. O2 would probably have to be the trickiest guy to chain stun on this list, only because his interval of time between attacks is very minimal. If you go in and he's about to launch an attack on you, you might not live to tell the tale. So how do you top that? We have an item that can render an enemy unit completely useless. It looks like round one may belong to Colossus. But let's not forget that we have another contestant. Everyone give it up for the Shield of Ogmer! Possibly one of the rarest items in the game, the Shield of Ogmer drops only from the Lord of the Lost Lands, and we know how hard it is to get loot from him. Instead of granting the wearer 12 def, 2 vit, and 2 whiz, you are given 14 def and 60 HP, a great compliment to the unbound HP ring. If you're maxed to knight on life, you can have over 1000 HP, and let me tell you, that is a feat worth accomplishing. The damage range for Ogmer is 300 to 400 damage, as opposed to Colossus Shield's 300 to 360. This alone should tell you that Ogmer is more of a DPS item, considering the cost of the same amount of mana. But the main reason that Ogmer is a DPS item is that instead of stunning your targets for 3 seconds, you still shoot out the same 5 shots, but now you deal not only more damage, but you armor, armor break, break your targets, your targets for, four for four seconds. seconds. This, this reduces, reduces their, their armor, armor to, zero. to zero. Now you, now can, you do can do max, max damage, damage with, with everything. everything. The first stun will have its damage reduced, but the second one will be full throttle. This is a great way to utilize weapons like the D-Blade. Originally, if you were to attack somebody like the Stone Guardians, its 100 def would reduce each shot, and you would possibly be doing under 100 damage with each. Now, if you armor break the Stone Guardians, you can be doing max damage with the highest DPS item. Deep Blade's great. And Ogmer. Perfect combo. Do it. Colossus is more of a universal item. It's more helpful to not only a solo scenario, but also a team scenario. You can help people out by stunning the target, and now everybody else can get their damage in and kill the target. Or say you're soloing an abyss and you can stun the demons and not get hurt and rush more efficiently. It's just a more helpful item. It's more safe. Ogmer is more of a quick and to the point kind of item. It gets the job done really fast, and it gets your damage in, but it's not the safest choice. For a solo scenario, I would not pick Ogmer, I would have to pick Colossus. It's just more safe, and it gets the job done almost as fast. The winner is Colossus Shield. But that does not mean that Ogmer is a worse item. In fact, there are scenarios whenever it could be better. Like, tape a group instance, whenever you're all doing a tomb, insta-breaking a boss. It only takes one Ogmer to armor break the boss, and now everybody can get max damage in. A scenario with multiple knights is the best. Now everybody can not only stun and armor break, but they can also do it with peace of mind. But for a solo scenario, like I said, Colossus is the way to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment on what you want me to compare next, and which you think is better, Colossus or Ogmer. And as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright, see ya!